I saw you on the I saw. I was so excited to see you, but I didn't see you before. Let me tell you what happened. We're in the process of finding the next Zambian musical icon and of course, for the past few days, social media has been buzzing. Take a look at this. In fact, it's something that you're not going to get in this life or the next. This is Rock Peter Africa. I'm an Afro gospel artist from Sorozi, the heart of Northwestern. I'm super excited to be here and if you're seeing this place for the first time, well, please stick around. This, this is your home. This is your home. Click follow like share do everything comment so we're going to be talking about the icon Sunday. so now i've been getting a lot of calls you know text here and there saying we saw you on the icon Sunday. let me tell you what happened <laughs> so um story time i went to audition for the icon zambia and um apparently uh, for me it was a different story because they actually said yes. So, yes, for me, so I went in there and probably saw this. What's good, Balongo? This is Peter Echelon, also known as Rock Peter Africa. I'm an Afro gospel artist from Sulawesi. You know, Rock and Peter is basically the same name. Yes. Peter means Rock. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. So, is that your real name or that's your stage? My, my real name is Peter Echelon. <laughs> yeah, so after that, I did my thing. They didn't show my performance video. Did, did they give you the performance video? No, 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 no. And I gave out my full energy. So, but, well, um, probably it wasn't everybody's cup of tea. So, Mr. Ballard told me no. Um, let me tell you exactly how it happened. So, I rap, and then Mr. Ballard is like, no. So, upon Mr. Ballard said that David Kazani looks at him as like so, so with that with that shocked face, you know, like, like yeah. and I was like, oh okay, easy, cool. Then David was like, it's a yes for me. Kiddis. And then Kiddis looked at me. He was like, I think it's a no for me. I'm like, go you think? I don't believe in God. So yeah, I'm just saying. Just being dramatic. So, but yeah. So, um, from there, yeah, I left. So now, a lot of people have been feeling bad probably because of the feedback they got, and yeah, they were harshly judged. But, but here's one thing that you need to understand. For those that have been following me for quite some time, you know that this this is not the first time in a music contest, right? I've had like two auditions be before this. Well done. And Peter, before you go, whatever happens to you in this show, man, I need to feature you in my song like soon, like like very soon. Beautiful wow. stuff. Wow. Beautiful stuff, man. So now I just told you that because I want you to understand that I come from, you know, this background. You know, um, 2020, 2021, I went to the Nexus Music Auditions. You know, uh, I auditioned for the Nexus Music Competition and. The first time, not once, but twice, right? The first time I got rejected. So I say, and I got rejected. I'm like, sir, this is not gonna be happening. <laughs> so I waited for the next day that they announced for audition. I played again. So the first time I auditioned as Rock Peter. The second time I was like, I'm going there in the name of Peter Eshlo. That's my government name. So I went there, I registered as Peter Eshlo. I still got rejected, guys. So twice, same competition. At that point, I was like, I'm not gonna do auditions anymore. I'm not gonna do auditions again. And a friend of mine, shout out to Aqua Naomi. That was like months after, two or three, one, 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 two or three months after. So she calls me and she tells me, there's this competition that I want you to be part of. It's, it's an international competition, there's Zambia, there's Malawi, there's Zimbabwe, but it's going to be happening right here in Zambia. And stuff. Like, so I want you to audition. I'm like, oh, competitions? Ah, why don't you audition yourself? Because she's, she's an amazing artist. And she actually told me, this is not for me. I feel this is for you. 
It was like, ah, okay. Guess what? I was uh, called among, I was among the top five from Zambia. And yeah, so 15 contestants, five from each country, were in the house. I got evicted in the semi final. I feel like to some extent, I probably just like became too comfortable because I was doing really good, you know? And that taught me not to be comfortable. In life, don't be comfortable, right? Um, listen to this. Man, I think you have convinced me that you're one of the, actually you're the most creative I have seen on the show. That's my opinion. You are a massive, massive artist. I know you're going to make the billboards across the world. Of course. Yeah, you're, you're one in a million. So, mm -hmm. so it was that huge and I didn't win the final. But what that did for me as it taught me, it gave me so much confidence in myself, it gave me so much experience as, as far as live performance is concerned and everything, you know? Ale. Ale. No doubt, no doubt, Rock's energy continues to capture the mood of my booth. Indeed, the lad is in his own class, which might prove to be an impossible feat for other contestants. Energy! So I want to encourage you. Um, this is not the end of the journey. This is not the end of the road. Pick yourself up. Be encouraged. You can do this. If you didn't make it through the Icon Zambia, if you didn't make it through the competition, probably the competition was just a platform for, for people to get to see you, which is good, you know, it's probably, that was the way of God blessing you, you know, you needed that for you to be noticed by many people, you know, so, be encouraged, you have what it takes. My name is Rob Peter Africa from the Heart of Northwestern Solozi. I'm the Afro Gospel artist. And of course, thank you so much for being here.